Hi, my name is Linda Martin and if you've clicked on this link it's because you've seen my advert on Crafts Beautiful which is showing you a goose egg jewellery box. Let's just open this up. What I'm going to do is show you the different components of the kit that we have and these are real goose eggs so I'll give you a little bit of information about how it's done and you can always follow that up by looking at my YouTube videos which show you different stages of doing the eggs. So let's have a look. We're going to offer this in two colourways. We'll do the white pearl finish with lilac accessories and we'll also, for those of you that are very much into pink, we'll also do a pink version. So the white egg with the pink trims. So looking at what we have, the most important thing of all, of course, is the goose egg. And this is already marked for you. And let's just pop this to one side. So that's your goose egg. And then, oh, a word about goose egg as well. These are much, much stronger than hen's eggs. So don't be frightened of handling them. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to cut the egg in half. And rather than saying to you, you need to go out and buy expensive equipment, what we've done is we've provided you in the kit with what's known as a half round Swiss needle file. This has a beveled side and a flat side and you actually work with the flat side facing you. I'll show you how to just start to file the egg in a minute. So that's used for cutting the egg. The next stage is to paint the egg and we do include some small pots of a matte white paint and also a white pearl paint. And then once the egg is painted we're going to line it using poly satin lining fabric. Just open this up again and you see we have like a lovely little gathered lining inside there which is done using a dolly bag technique. Now rather than going through all of the techniques and demonstrating all of them now I'm just going to show you how to file the egg, get you started on that and then at the end we'll put some links through to my YouTube channel where you can actually watch the other processes of the painting, the lining, the hinging and everything else that's associated with making this egg. Or a very similar egg I should say. Now the lining fabric is trimmed on the inside with this lovely looped braid and that's also used on the outside of the egg. We then trim the cut edges using a fine gold cord and there's plenty of this in your kit, so you're not going to run short because I do make sure I include plenty in everything that I do. And then there are two different colours here. Let's put them against the white so you can see better. Two different shades to go with the lilac trim. And this is a three-ply Lurex cord. We also have a couple of little bits of silk ribbon which are used on the top just to enhance the filigree decoration that's on there which consists of two leaf filigrees and then we also have like a little water lily type filigree which sits in the middle of the two and then in the centre of that you will add your cold porcelain rose. These are all handmade by me and that matches beautifully with the other trim and of course the hinge. We mustn't forget that we're going to hinge this egg together. And again on the YouTube channel you'll find lots of tips for doing that. Now if you're going for the other option, the pink option, we're going to give you a different colour lining fabric obviously. So a very delicate pink. We're changing the colours of the silk ribbon slightly so we've got a paler silk ribbon there and then the filigree decoration will have this pretty little pink rose inside and that as I say again is going to go with the other trim that you've got. So when you're ordering the kit you need to specify whether you would like pink or lilac. We also will include a paint sponge for you and the sponging technique you can see actually on our YouTube site. It's basically, um, let me just find the sponge. So basically what you're doing with this is putting two coats of matte white paint onto the egg first. And as I say, we'll provide you with a little sample pot of each. And the sponge that we're using is 
a fine but firm textured sponge, just a little bit there on the actual sponge. Don't moisten it before you start or anything like that. And I'll just very quickly show you on this half of the egg. And the way that you apply this is to very, very quickly dab the paint thinly and evenly over the shell. Obviously allowing that to dry in between coats and we recommend that you put two coats of the matte white down and then two or three coats of the white pearl paint. Don't forget to wash your sponges out so you can reuse them again afterwards as well. So, so that's the, the painting technique. Now I mentioned before that you were going to cut your egg using the um, half round Swiss needle file. Now I've just started a little bit on here. Let's just move these bits out of the way so the egg dust doesn't go on them. Oh, forgot to mention the little stand. We actually manufacture these egg stands. So it's a little three-legged stand. And if you go for the pink colourways for the kit, we'll also include the Lurex cord in two different shades. These two lovely pink colours with the white opal and the pink with it as well. So let's have a look at this. Now we've got the egg which has been marked for you in half. And the way that you cut this is you take the needle file, you work with the flat side of the file facing you so that you can actually see the pencil line. And then you start using that area of, you can see where I've started to cut a little bit here. It's slightly discoloured with the egg dust. So don't use this first section of the file, just use this next bit. And you basically just grind at the shell until you create a little groove. Now just cradle the egg in your shell, try and in your shell, in your hand, try not to squeeze it. Once you get the little groove going, it's so much easier because it channels the file in the right place. And as you start to grind through the shell, you can see there where I've worked on it, how that's which area of the file I've used. And as you start to break through the shell, you'll find that the sound that the file is making on the egg will actually change slightly. It begins to kind of rasp almost. So this is a perfect way of getting started in egg art. We also do beginner's gift packs which has everything in it to do to complete eggs and you can get information about that on my website and we'll put all the contact details up at the end. So can you hear that's now starting to, the sound is changing because I'm just about to break into the shell and I can just see now I'm going to resist the temptation to pop the needle, the point of the needle file in. Let's just do, because if you flex it, if you push it in and move it either way, you could crunch your shell. Now I don't know whether you can see, I'm just going to very gently pop my fingernail in. Just about see there, I've got I can see the inside of the egg, just. Now what you would do is work all the way around the shell. You could actually tape the egg together if you do about half of it and then put a piece of micropore tape or something similar across the cut that holds the shape of the egg intact so that as you're moving around and putting that little bit more pressure on the shell, you're not going to twist the top half away from the bottom half. Now. On the YouTube video, the Getting Started series of videos that I have there, um, you'll actually see the egg being cut using an electric drill. But to get you going, we're using the needle file. We don't want you to have to go to lots of expense for equipment that you may not ever use again. Although I think once you've had a go at this, you'll be completely hooked. Now, we're doing this kit at a special price of £29.95, which includes postage as well within the UK.
and we are prepared to ship internationally as well where the postage rate will be slightly different so again all the contact information is going to be at the end and as I say your kit will contain everything that you need apart from the glues now the glues that we recommend are epoxy glues for all of the metal components so that's the hinge which is on here somewhere there we are there's that little hinge so the hinge the metal components the findings Putting the egg onto the stand is also done using the two-part epoxy glue and my preference for that is the DEVCON 5-minute epoxy. Anything else, you can use either a white PVA-based glue or you can use Yuhu glue. So there's a lot of things that you probably already have if you're a crafter and certainly if you get into egg art you'll discover that lots of the skills that you've built up over the years you can use within egg art because there are so many different styles of work that you can actually do so thank you very much for watching i hope it's encouraged you to perhaps have a go at this let's just have another look at the egg before we finish so there we have our goose egg you can just see at the back the little hinge, just the hinge barrel there. And we've disguised the sides of the hinge by using tiny little pieces of the cording here. And then on the top, the filigree decoration with tiny little loops of silk ribbon tucked in there. Just little twirls created by holding it over the scissor blade and pulling tightly. And then inside we have the lining. Now, of course, you also will receive with your kit a very detailed written instruction sheet with photographs and everything on there. And as ever, I'm available by email or by phone. If you've got any queries, you can always ring me or email me and I'll do my best to answer them. OK, thank you very much for watching and I hope this will encourage you to have a go at something which will make a wonderful present. Um, I saw Mother's Day cards in the shops recently and I thought, ooh, that's a bit early, but then I think maybe it isn't. So something that you can do as an Easter gift, something that you can do as a special birthday present, something for Mother's Day, who knows? There's lots and lots of ways that you can celebrate using decorated eggshells. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Take care, everybody.